Hi, I'm Ben with RA3D Redux here again uh, here at Robot 3 Days. We are having our Swerve Drive drive up the charging station. So this is the Swerve Drive Specialties MK4i modules here, and our bumper is an inch and a half off the ground. Worth noting that this plastic that we have here, this is polycarb. It's a little bit different from what the field spec is, specifically um, these sheets right down here. These sheets uh, would be composite reinforced plastic. So we're going, let's go ahead and move the drive down from the ramp. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. SOLIDWORKS is free for FIRST teams. Over 80% of U.S. engineering schools and 370,000 plus companies use SOLIDWORKS to design great products. SOLIDWORKS can help you design a great robot on desktop or on the cloud. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com FIRST to register your team. Stryker is one of the world leading medical technology companies and is driven to help make healthcare better. Stryker's commitment to innovation has made it a career destination for engineering professionals. Click the link in the description box below or go to careers.stryker.com to discover your next opportunity. Let's go ahead and move the drive down from the ramp. This is worth noting that we are using the official hinges you can buy from Andy Mark. Um, however, uh, there, there's a couple uh, for the center hinge, the edge hinges we are using normal, uh, what are they called? Yeah, for the, the edges we're using door hinges. Yeah, the same one is in the team drawings is what we're using for the edge hinges. So mm -hmm. we're going up slowly onto the ramp. So this is with inch and a half off the floor bumpers. It's a little bit faster. Yeah, gunning it with inch and a half bumpers gets you up there, but you may need to have bumpers that are a little bit higher in order to make it so you don't need to gun up the ramp if you're looking to do it in autonomous. Yeah, let's, let's drive with the bumpers off just uh, the non-bumper side, just to show what it looks like. So that's without bumpers on. We're noting there's probably some optimum level for having your bumpers for that, but the higher you make your bumpers, the more susceptible you are to defense. So just keep that as a consideration as you design your robots. Hi, I'm Matt with the Robot in 3D Redux. And want to talk a little bit about the team drawings and building some of the field elements, specifically the charge station here. Um, so we did get these hinges donated from Andy Mark, uh, which were really nice. So these mount and essentially the whole charge station is going to balance on these two flat pieces of bar stock. So if we come over here and look, this is what the team drawings call out. So this is sitting on the ground and you can see that you're balancing on this and this. So when it tilts one way, it goes like that. Tilts the other way, it goes like this. Uh, just kind of lining out how you would build this as a team. I know looking at the team drawings myself personally, it was a little difficult to tell. So you bolt one side of the Andy Mark hinge here and the other side to this base that comes out there. Um, the other part that is interesting is on these end ramps here. So if we go look at this right here, you need to make sure you leave enough gap for this end ramp to bend back this way. If you make the gap tight here, the game elements not going to be able to react properly to the field. And then you do need to make these sliders on the ground that they call out it's a stack of plywood and then some thin sheet of material we're using polycarb they call out another reinforced plastic that we haven't been able to source yet but this is pretty critical to get the whole charge station to angle and float up and down um other than that it's pretty time intensive to build but uh as you can see from one of our other videos uh, there is some interactions that you may want to view, especially if you're trying to do this in autonomous. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. 
Stryker is one of the world-leading medical technology companies and is driven to help make healthcare better. Stryker's commitment to innovation has made it a career destination for engineering professionals. Click the link in the description box below or go to careers.stryker.com to discover your next opportunity. SolidWorks is free for first teams. Over 80% of U.S. engineering schools and 370,000 plus companies use SolidWorks to design great products. SolidWorks can help you design a great robot on desktop or on the cloud. Go to SolidWorks.com slash first to register your team. Thank you to all of our suppliers and sponsors for the Robot in 3 Days Redux and Kettering Bulldogs programs.